What is going on everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to buy and sell cryptocurrency in the BlockFi platform. We're going to start off here on desktop and show you guys how to do this on your computer. And then we're going to use the mobile app on iPhone to show you guys how it works there as well. So hopefully that is what you guys are looking for here in this video. Make sure you're jumping down below and subscribing to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. That's all we ask of you guys here on these channels. We're posting how to tutorial style content so that you guys are better prepared or have the questions answered that you need answered. So in this video, we're gonna be diving into BlockFi right now up on the screen. We actually have a new BlockFi account that we fund here with just shy of $900 or so. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going through how to buy and sell on this platform. So number one, you need funds in your account, obviously, to be able to buy a cryptocurrency. That's how this works. What there will be, there'll be a link down below to sign up to BlockFi if you guys want to go and do so. If you have not done so already on mobile or on you know, your computer or laptop, you can click on that link and it should take you through the process of how to go about doing so. There's actually a lot of features in BlockFi, which we may have some more videos going over in the coming weeks and coming months. But right now, we're going to click on deposit. Now, you're going to get a lot of options here when it comes to depositing. So you can go about this a couple different ways. You can deposit USD as stablecoin, okay? If you click on that, what it's going to ask you to do, it's going to ask for a payment method. You can actually link your bank account and easily deposit, let's say a Chase, a Bank of America, or something along those lines with the top option here. Or you can, of course, wire the funds in. That will take approximately one to two days to do. Now, if you were to go and deposit, let's say Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency, what you're going to need is you're going to need a wallet and you're going to want to have your Bitcoin stored somewhere else. So if you have Bitcoin stored somewhere else, that's how you can deposit onto BlockFi through this route. I would imagine that most people are fairly new to the platform if they're watching this video. They're probably going to want to go about connecting a bank account and depositing through that way. Once you have your money in BlockFi, let's say it's in stablecoin or through other cryptocurrencies, that's how we can go about and trade this and buy and sell. So I'm going to click on the trade tab right here. Here's where it could get somewhat confusing. Okay, so what you want to be able to do here is now you can determine what crypto you want to buy. In this example, we're going to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin. Okay, so let's click on we have Bitcoin already selected as buy. But if it's not there, you can, of course, click on that and then sort through where you want to actually buy. So we currently have some money split up across a couple of different cryptocurrencies, but we're going to actually just buy more Bitcoin here. We currently have some in the account as well. So we'll confirm that and I'm going to click on $10 now. When it comes to buying Bitcoin here, okay, we have to understand that we need to buy this and it needs to come from somewhere. So either we have to have stablecoin or we have to be transferring and selling a different cryptocurrency in our account. Okay, so I have Ethereum, I have some other cryptos. Now, one thing I want to note here when it comes down to actually pulling this from stablecoin, because that's how we deposit money into our account to buy stablecoin. That's how it works, right? What stablecoin is going to show up as is going to be as GUSD. As we can see, going back to the deposit page, what it's going to show us right here, it's going to show us at the bottom, USD payment represents a purchase of stablecoin. Gemini USD is the default stablecoin. So now what we can see is that I'm going to be buying 10 Bitcoin and I'm going to be taking $10 from that GUSD US stablecoin. Essentially, that's how this stuff works. Now, what we can also do in this order form, we can click on repeat the trade. So at the time I'm filming this video, Bitcoin's just over 60,000. It'll tell us at the bottom right here, Bitcoin, one Bitcoin is $60,443.06. I can actually set up recurring transactions. Let's say I have you know a deposit every single month into stablecoin, right? I'm buying stablecoin every single month into my BlockFi account, okay? I want to buy Bitcoin from that every single month and I want to have that recurring. So I'm always doing so. Well, under this repeat trade tab, I can click on this and I can then set this to whatever I want. One time only, every day, every week, first of the month and the 15th of the month. This example, we're going to do it one time only. I click on confirm. I go there and click on buy $10 of BTC. It's going to go to the next page. I'm going to click on confirm. And then just like that, we have purchased our Bitcoin, $10 worth of Bitcoin. Awesome. So let's now go ahead and sell that $10 worth of Bitcoin here for this example. I go back to my trading window. And of course, I'm going to click on the sell section, not the buy. I want to sell $10 worth of Bitcoin. And I want to buy because of course we're selling. So where is that $10 going to go? You can't just put it into cash. You'd have to put it into stablecoin here in this example. That's essentially like your cash in a sense for the BlockFi platform. So I'm going to sell my Bitcoin. I'm going to convert that to GUSD, Gemini USD, the stablecoin right here. And just like that, I'm going to now sell my $10 worth of Bitcoin. Click on confirm sell. 
and it should pop on up and confirm that I have sold just like that. I have sold my Bitcoin. So now we're over on the mobile app and we're going to do the exact same thing. So you guys can see how it looks visually on the mobile app. I'm in my same exact account. We pretty much have the exact same balance. I'm going to now use Ethereum as an example. I click on Ethereum right here and I want to buy $10 worth of Ethereum here today. I'm actually probably going to keep the $10 in Ethereum because I want to keep it there. And we just went over how to sell. I'll go through the process, but I'm not going to actually sell it in this example. Okay. So I want to take $10 from my GUSD and I want to buy my $10 worth of Ethereum. It's going to tell me at the bottom of the screen how much the Ethereum is going for as of right now in terms of GUSD. Okay, cool. I'm going to click on buy just like that. It's going to go into the confirm page. And I'm going to authorize that $10 just like that. And just like that, super simple, super easy. I have now bought it. Now, if I want to go back and sell that, I'm going to go into my Ethereum. I'm going to click on the sell at the top of the screen and I can type in $10 worth of Ethereum. And it's going to just do the exact same thing I just did. I click on sell. I'm not going to authorize this trade, but it's very, very simple. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. One of the things that BlockFi does offer is they offer interest on your crypto. So when you hold crypto on the BlockFi platform, you're actually able to earn interest. And those rates are actually fairly high. We'll throw up a screenshot as the time we're filming this video of what those rates currently are for the different coins and cryptocurrencies. So you can get a sense of what it is. But for example, myself personally, I like to use it as a spot to hold my crypto right now because I know I'm going to be getting interest on it. I'm not looking to actively trade these things. I'm looking to be more of a buy and hold type of investor or someone who's looking to buy and hold for like a longer term period of time. If I want to sell it at some point, take my cash and move on, I'm certainly able to do so but I'm able to rate the rewards of actually getting some interest and accruing some interest on my crypto, which you guys saw from the home page. I've earned some interest and I recently opened this account. So it's pretty cool to see. And it's somewhat of a passive income, although these cryptos are very, very volatile. So if you're not in the bull market right now and things are selling off, that interest is great because it can kind of offset some of those losses you may be seeing in the short term. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel down below. I appreciate every single one of you guys who is doing so. Be sure to check out some of our other videos here on the platform tutorials, how to's. They are free and they are meant to help you guys with questions you have. Leave more questions, comments below of more videos, other type of things you want to see in the future. And we can certainly make a video on that. Again, links are down below to BlockFi to get signed up and get some free crypto in the process if you would like to. On top of that, there are other links and resources to other channels and awesome resources as well in the description box down below. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.